Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interaction with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 88. NASDAQ is up 32. S&Ps are flat. All have hit new all-time highs, folks. Uh, each and every day we've been hitting a new all-time high. Gold. Gold contract up $1.40, trading at 1473 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $17.10 an ounce. Light sweet crew, that's getting whacked. Big volume, 783,000 contracts on the way down. You're down a buck 84, trading 55.21. That contract wants to go back to the lower end of its consolidation, which is the $50 mark. Plenty of energy out here, folks. Notes and bonds, bottom line, higher price, lower yield. You get the 10 year up four ticks, 129.15. The 30 year up 18 at 159.11. Now, both of them have light volume today. So the bottom line, they're going to need more volume in order to hold higher price. King dollar. King dollar up uh, 51 ticks, trading 97, 844. That's building cars for lower price. Uh, you get a sideways move out here today. King dollar looks like it wants to run down to the lower end of this consolidation, which is approximately the 96 and a half number. The euro is at 110, the pound's at 129, and the yen is at 1.8 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got another day, you got another dollar, you got another high. Um, pretty amazing, there's no doubt. Uh, we are at 312.17 uh, right now. The high of yesterday was uh, 312.28. You've hit 312.69. And the uh, bottom line is that um, inch by inch, this thing just keeps climbing. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What you have with the NDX 100 is that that reached a high out here today, the three Qs of $203.84. Right now you're at 2356. The high of yesterday was 2303.39. Dow Industrials. Dow also hit a high. Now the differential is that the Dow is back down uh, 100 points off of that high. Uh, we hit 28,090. And right now, you're at 27,942. Uh, so the bottom line is that it made a new high, backing down off of that high. Uh, the culprit inside the Dow Industrials is Home Depot. Home Depot is putting 82 negative points into the Dow Industrials. Home Depot came out with the numbers this morning. A uh, little light on the numbers. Monster volume on the way down. You get 12 million shares traded. Um, I suspect Home Depot, we're trading 226, 217 Home Depot can get down into. Uh, it hasn't got to the swing, lowest swing point today, which is pretty impressive, which is 222.12. Uh, if we go take a look at Lowe's, it's going to be interesting. So, so Home Depot came out with their numbers this morning. Lowe's is going to come out with their numbers tomorrow morning before the market. Uh, Lowe's is trading 113. Now, Lowe's wasn't getting hit like Home Depot. Uh, it would make, well, sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Uh, um, if, in fact, they came out with numbers or didn't. Same sector. So what ended up happening is that Home Depot did come out with the numbers. They smoking that 11 bucks down. Lowe's, they're basically giving uh, them another day, where right now you are at uh, $1.93 and you're at $113.09. Uh, if we go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside that NDX 100, uh, the strength is um, AMD, that's up 4.2%. Alexa Pharmaceutical up 3.5%. Biomyelin up 3.5%. Taken away from it. You get Walgreens, uh, Western Digital rather, down 3.7%. Qualcomm's up 3.3%. Micron Tech's up 3.2%. And AMAT's up 2 That's really interesting, too, because that's very unusual, folks, when you have the aspect that we have uh, one chip stock, meaning AMD, uh, putting 4.5% into the NDX 100, where then you have Qualcomm, Mike, Mike, Mike Marantech, Micron Tech, and AMAT uh, basically uh, getting toasted on the other side. Macy's, let's go take a look at Macy's. Macy's out here right now is trading down a price point of 
A dollar eighty. You're at fifteen oh six. The low for the year is fourteen eleven. The high is thirty five. And this is uh, coming down with some juice too. Let me just see this. Did they come out with numbers too? No, they they're coming out on the twenty first. So this is probably has to do uh, with coals. I suspect. Uh, oh, I see. It's a data breach. Uh, Macy's online data breach could put holidays uh, at risk. Um, they had a data breach in October, about the time they come out with it. Uh, bottom line is that what you may have here uh, with Macy's, you very well could have an ABC structure on the way down. So when we take a look at it, five months ago, you're at $30, $23. You get all the way down to 14 Do a counter trend bounce up to 17 You're at 15 right now. This is running with monster volume. Ooh, this is a dangerous chart setup, man. This is dangerous. Yep. So, you know, this is going to go attack 1420. The real question is going to be at 1420, does it have the attack with volume behind the move? And if that's what you get, you're going to be uh, down fast and furious into this $5 level, which was the, <coughs> excuse me, folks, was the lows of November of 2008. So big numbers are coming across uh, most of these boards out here. Let's go take a look at uh, Kohl's. Uh, what you had with Kohl's out here today, they came out with numbers this morning. This was at an all-time high. Uh, the, it's down $11 right now. That's getting uh, toasted, no doubt about it. Uh, no, it wasn't an all-time high. No, the all-time high this, week, this uh, year is 75. So we're at the bottom of of the range. We pull this up. Oh, that's dangerous too. Holy cow. This has had some big downdraft. So 83, it was trading in 2018. Come down viciously in 2018 to 60. There's a counter trend bounce to 75. Must have come up with earnings again last May. Goes 60 to 54. Yeah, this is going to go right after its uh, lowest swing point. You get a high volume low at 43, right here at 47. We're going to be going after that number. Stay right there, folks. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Basil's going to be doing a great workshop for you, folks, folks today. 5 to 6.30 Eastern Standard Time for all his subscribers. Very easy to be a subscriber. Just go over to our website at TFNN. You go into featured content. You see the opening call. Subscribe. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Great newsletter. Great workshop tonight. Basil's going to be coming right up.